Senator Menendez, who is here on behalf of uh, Kevin McNulty. Whenever I see a New Jersey name, I always remember Senator Menendez telling me that they had t-shirts in New Jersey that say, only the strong survive. And so I'm sure that's true of your judicial nomination process, Senator Menendez. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, 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 I won't continue on that story, but uh, let, let me thank you as well as the ranking member uh, and the distinguished members of the committee. Uh, I actually have two New Jerseyans to introduce to the committee today, and I'm uh, privileged to do so. Uh, let me first introduce Kevin McNulty for consideration as the next United States District Judge for the District of New Jersey. Um, who, both of these nominees have family and friends here, including a former Justice of the New Jersey Supreme Court, Justice Sally, and we're pleased to have him with us. A, a district judge must possess exemplary analytical skills, a strong work ethic, an extraordinary knowledge of the law. Uh, Mr. McNulty has demonstrated these qualities on countless occasions. He is the chair of the appeals group in the prestigious law firm of Givens PC. At Givens, he has been directly involved in approximately 100 appeals related to a wide variety of legal issues, including pharmaceutical, intellectual property, commercial, and criminal matters. He has tirelessly fought for his client's interests. His hard work and dedication earned him the New Jersey Law Journal's Lawyer of the Year Award. Before joining Gibbons, Mr. McNulty served as Chief of the Appeals Division of the United States Attorney's Office. He was the lead attorney for the Organized Crime and Drug Enforcement Task Force, as well as the Ethics Officer and Grand Jury Coordinator. And while serving at the U.S. Attorney's Office, Mr. McNulty was honored with the Federal Law Enforcement Officers Association Award. He began his professional career as a law clerk for the Honorable Frederick B. Lacey, U.S. District Judge for the District of New Jersey. He graduated cum laude and was third in his class at New York University School of Law. His academic achievement also earned him membership in the New York University Law Review, where he served as articles editor, membership in the Honor Society, Order of the Cross. And while at uh, New York University School of Law, he was awarded the American Judicial Society Prize, the Pomeroy Prize, and the Moot Court Advocacy Award. And outside of his professional career, has demonstrated an admirable commitment to public service. He is a member of the Board of Trustees of the Urban League of Essex County, a former member of the Third Circuit Lawyers Advisory Committee, co-author of the Pennsylvania Bar Institute Guide to Third Circuit Practice, and he has written and spoken on a host of legal topics. He is an active member of the New Jersey Federal American Bar Associations, and throughout his career, he has demonstrated a strong analytical ability, rapid research skills, and an outstanding work ethic, integrity, and he is well equipped to serve with distinction as a district court judge for the District of New Jersey. Uh, Madam Chair, uh, members of the committee, I also want to introduce and express my strong support for Judge Michael Shipp for the United States District Court uh, of New Jersey. All of us in New Jersey are very familiar with Judge Shipp's qualifications. He's an exceptional candidate for the federal bench. He is an accomplished jurist with impressive qualifications. With almost five years' experience as a federal magistrate judge for the District of New Jersey, he's well prepared to be a federal district judge. He has successfully managed significant and complex cases as a magistrate and has on occasion served as a district court judge in cases with magistrate jurisdiction. The first eight years of his distinguished legal career was spent in the litigation department of the law firm of Scadden Arps. In 2003, he left the firm to serve in the public sector as an assistant attorney general for consumer protection in the office of the Attorney General of New Jersey, where he honed his expertise in consumer fraud prosecution, insurance fraud prosecution, security fraud prosecution, professional boards prosecution, and debt recovery. Judge Shipp excelled at the office of the Attorney General, was twice promoted within the office, first as liaison to the Attorney General, and second as counsel to the Attorney General. And in that context, he was in charge of day-to-day -day operations of the Department of Law and Public Safety, a department with over 10,000 employees and 800 attorneys. Judge Shipp is also deeply involved in the legal community. Beyond his leadership role with the New Jersey State Bar Association, his membership in the Garden State Bar Association, he has served as a faculty member of Seton Hall University School of Law's Summer Institute for pre-legal studies, which helps disadvantaged students develop their interest in the law. He's also served on the faculty of the New Jersey Attorney General's Advocacy Institute, which ensures that attorneys representing the state of New Jersey maintain the highest possible levels of professionalism. 
He is a proud New Jerseyan with deep roots in our state, a native of Patterson, New Jersey. I say that because if Senator Lautenberg were here, he would tell you that, and I feel compelled to do so in his, um, in his absence. He grew up in New Jersey. He lives in New Jersey. He earned his degree from Rutgers State University, Seton Hall Law School, uh, and went on to clerk for the Honorable James Coleman, a former justice of the New Jersey Supreme Court of New Jersey. Uh, he is uh, an extraordinary uh, jurist uh, with a tremendous opportunity, uh, a judicial temperament, extraordinary legal, legal experience, and a deep and abiding commitment to the rule of law. These are two exceptional uh, nominees, and I would urge the committee's quick and uh, uh, positive uh, um, uh, nomination to, their floor, to the floor. And I'm sure Senator Grassley is going to feel that way after he hears from them. <laughs> 